Welcome to the New England Crypto YouTube channel. In today's video, we're diving into some seriously cool mining tech, including the Avalon Nano 3S and the brand new Zyber 8S Bitcoin miner. This little beast is compact, but packs a serious hash rate punch. Is it the most powerful mini Bitcoin miner out there? We're going to find out. Stick around as we unbox this bad boy, walk you through the setup, and compare it to the Avalon Nano 3S and Bidax Gamma. Let's dive right in. Our friends over at Bitcoin Merch sent both the Zyber 8S and the Avalon Nano 3S to us to review for you guys recently. We already unboxed the Avalon Nano 3S and made a short about it. I'll link that below for anybody who hasn't seen it. But today is all about the Zyber 8S. Wow, look at that packaging. This is the Zyber 8S. Dang, this thing is compact. But don't let size fool you. This miner is built with eight chained ASIC chips on a six layer reinforced PCB. And it's rocking a hybrid copper aluminum heatsink for cooling. For a mini at home miner, this is a big old heatsink. What a beautiful piece of hardware. It's got this modern futuristic vibe with a 1.9 inch color display showing live stats like hash rate, temperature, and power consumption. Super cool. It's smaller than my hand, about the size of a small book. Here are a few things I had lying around for reference. A quarter, a deck of cards, and even a bit ax gamma, which looks tiny in comparison. The screen on this thing is almost the same size as a bit ax gamma. Crazy. First impressions? It feels solid. It has a dual fan cooling system with one on the bottom and one on the front, and a copper aluminum hybrid cooler, which is not just for looks. It's part of what keeps this beast running cool and quiet. Why does the Zyber 8S stand out? Well, first, it's built by Tiny Chip Hub. The Zyber 8S runs up to 6.4 terahashes a second at just 140 watts. That's some serious efficiency for a mini miner. It uses the AxOS interface and a 1.9 inch color screen making setup and status checks super easy. It has a dual phase power supply and reinforced PCB for stable performance. So is this the most powerful mini Bitcoin miner ever? Well, it's definitely a contender. We'll stack it up against the Avalon Nano 3S and Bidax Gamma later to find out. First, let's get this thing set up. Setting up the Zyber 8S is super straightforward, even if you're new to mining. All you need is Wi-Fi, a laptop, or a phone. Here's how it's done. First things first, do not touch terminals when powered on. Remove sticker before use. Connect the power supply and plug it in using the provided cord. The power cord for the miner is a little more specific. It has a flat end and a rounded end. The port on the miner has the same thing. It has a flat side and a rounded side. So if you take your time and you match up the flat side to the plug to the flat side of the input, it'll go right in. The Zyber 8S doesn't rely on USB-C, which is great for safety at 140 watts. Some miners push USB-C to the limit, but this one is designed smarter. You'll access the miner's web interface by entering the SSID and its IP address. Check the device's screen and your router for that info. Once you're in and have access to the XOS via the IP of the miner, you'll be able to change the network configurations to get it on your network. Always make sure to hit save and restart. Once the miner is on your network and restarted, it'll populate an IP address that you can connect to to input your pool information and wallet address. 
Once we enter that IP, we're into the XOS and looking good. The miner is up and running. We can see hash rate, temperatures, fan speeds, and then we can go into pool settings. And that's where we input all of the pool information, our wallet address, make sure if we hit a block, it gets sent to our address, or if we're pool mining, we get paid out. The information that you are going to need is usually the pool URL, the port, and your Bitcoin wallet address. Remember to hit save, and boom, you're up and mining. It's user friendly, especially for a high powered miner. Even beginners can get started in under 10 minutes. It's as close to plug and play as you'll find with mining. And in my tests, it hit a stable 6.4 terahashes per second with barely any fluctuation. And she's nice and quiet. Now, let's compare it to the Avalon Nano 3S and the Bidax Gamma. The brand new Zyber 8S is a 6.4 terahash monster at just 140 watts, with an updated modern 1.9 inch color screen and a very cool dual fan copper aluminum hybrid cooling solution. Over to the Avalon Nano 3S, which runs at 6 terahash with the 140 watt USB C connection, a very simple LED screen, and a very quiet fan. And on to the trusty Bidax Gamma, a 1.2 terahash mini powerhouse, running at just 15 to 17 watts. That's some crazy ultra compact efficiency. A small mini onboard LCD screen and an almost silent mini fan that does sometimes need upgrades. The Zyber 8S, maximum hash rate for a mini miner. Ideal if you want high performance in a small package. The Avalon Nano 3S, slightly lower hash rate, but whisper quiet, excellent energy efficient and easy for new users. The Bidax Gamma is the open source, tinker friendly master and the king for super low power solo mining. Lower hash rate, but unmatched efficiency at 1.2 terahashes and 17 watts. So is the Zyber 8S the most powerful mini Bitcoin miner for its size? It definitely is at the top, with its 6.4 terahashes per second hash rate. The Avalon Nano 3S is super close, but the Zyber edges it out slightly in performance and especially in design. The Bidax Gamma, while not as powerful, is a champ for efficiency and hobbyists. If you're after max hash rate in a small package, the Zyber 8S is your winner. But if budget is your main concern, the Avalon or Bidax might just be your picks. Drop any questions below, and if you want to see any more comparisons, please just let me know. Product links and discount codes will be down in the video description. Thank you all so much for joining me today. I appreciate each and every one of you. Please like and or subscribe on the way out, and I'll see you on the next one.